In the second book of the Bible called Exodus, in chapter 16, we find God teaching Israelites a very valuable lesson that we can all still learn from today. This time of teaching comes right after God had just delivered the people of Israel from a life of slavery. I'm going to paraphrase it today, so I strongly encourage you to grab a Bible and read Exodus chapter 16. If you don't have one, we would love to give you one. Just click on the link in the description below and we can send one right to you for free. You can also use the Version Bible app, which you can find in any app store. So here's what happened. God used Moses to deliver the Israelites from a life of slavery in Egypt, and they escaped into the desert. If you heard last week's message, this is when the people of Israel crossed the Red Sea on dry land, and the Egyptian army was swallowed up behind them. They were finally free, and it was all thanks to God. Sadly, it did not take long for the people of Israel to forget the amazing miracle God performed and to allow themselves to be filled with fear and anxiety. They were tired, hungry, and unsure of what their next move should be. So God told Moses that he would provide for them daily through yet another miracle. He told them that every day food, called manna, would rain down from heaven and that there would be enough for all the people of Israel to eat that day. He instructed the people to only take what they needed to eat for that day and to not save any for the next day. Finding it hard to fully trust God, some people tried to save manna for the next day. However, when they woke up, the food that they had kept for the morning was ridden with maggots and other pests and no longer edible. You would think that this happening once would be all that it would take for them to understand, but no. Many tried night after night to save the manna. The lesson that God was teaching them then is a lesson that He is still trying to teach us today. You see, God wants us to remember that He is the same God who delivered the Israelites out of slavery. He is the same God who provides enough food every single day for 40 years while they were wandering in the desert. Yes, 40 years. He is the same God who provided His people then, and He is the same God who provides for His people now. Trust that God will provide, but remember, God promises to provide what we need. In Matthew's biography of Jesus' life, Jesus reminds us of this by saying, Look at the birds. They don't plant, harvest, or save food in barns, but your heavenly Father feeds them. Don't you know you are worth much more than they are? The point is that if God is providing for birds every day, He will provide for you too, because you are way more important to Him than birds. Trust in God's provisions for your life.